What's up, friends? Today I'm going to drop a truth bomb on you. More specifically, I'm going to cover my personal favorite topic of all time, me. Just kidding. I'm really not that fun to talk about. But if I can give you something of value to take away from my story, I'm going to go ahead and tell it. So where to start? Well, I'm going to use a super sophisticated Nolan-esque storytelling tactic and start at the end, then flash back to the beginning, then eventually we'll end up back where we started, and you're going to go, wait a minute, we've been here before, but now it makes sense. So one of the questions that I get asked all the time by potential clients or even just random people at the gym is they'll take one good look at me and go, so did you play football in high school or were you a wrestler? Now, as much as I would love to participate in their little straightforward A or B multiple choice question, I'm forced to awkwardly explain, no, I was a dork. See, all the way through middle school and into my early teens, I was kind of a chubby, lazy, out of shape kid. A lot of my friends were a lot more athletic than me. They were playing on sports teams, so I definitely got teased about it a little bit. Now, I could have been out on the field doing something about it, but I really liked video games. So by the time I got to high school, I said, screw it, enough of this, and I started dieting. Hard. Like, way too hard. By the time I was 18, I weighed 130 pounds. And I wasn't even like a Bruce Lee 130. I didn't even have visible abs. I was just a scrawny, malnourished looking kid. So before people were telling me that I was chubby, now people are telling me that I'm way too skinny. Needless to say, my body image was pretty messed up. One time that stuck with me in particular is I was coming home from school, getting off the bus, and I turned to the driver and I said, thank you, have a nice day. The guy looked at me and he said, you too, go eat a sandwich. <sighs> Rocked. It was at this point that I realized that I was not happy. I wasn't happy with the way I looked. I wasn't happy with the way I felt. I just wasn't happy with who I was. So what did I do about it? Well, I went home, created a bodybuilding.com account, and started spending hours every day doing research. I started lifting weights. I started tracking all my calories and macros. Pretty soon, I started seeing drastic changes. Fast forward a few years, I took second place at a bodybuilding show. Somewhere along the way, I realized that I was no longer satisfied with just seeing myself change. I needed to help other people do the same. So I became a trainer. Honestly, there's nothing more fulfilling to me than helping somebody make the same transformation that I did. And I'm not talking about right here. I'm talking about in here. The truth is, there's so many people out there with eating disorders and body image issues. And if you're one of those people, the one thing that I want you to take away from this video is that you can get better. There is a future where you look at yourself in the mirror and you feel happy. You feel proud at what you've been able to do for yourself. For me, lifting weights saved me. And I think it can for you too. That's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed my little origin story. Most importantly, I hope that you can apply it to your own life and realize that no matter where you're starting from, there's no limit to what you can do. I'll catch you next time.